I didn't love the Deanston Organic 14 year in my last video. Will the 15 year be better? Will it be in my wheelhouse? I don't know. Let's do this. Welcome to Whisker Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I appreciate you being here, watching the videos, and commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. I have a couple of Deanstons here, one that I reviewed recently, the Deanston 14 year old organic, and I was less impressed with it for the price point and the flavor and that video, which I'll link below. I preferred the Deanston Virgin Oak, which was cheaper and much more flavorful for me. Now I have the Deanston 15 year old, which is also organic. Both of these are hard to find. I think they're limited releases. They don't even show up on the Deanston website. This one, the 14 year old, I got from Total Wine and I paid about $90 for it. The 15 year old, which is more current, more available, I think, I'm not sure. I can only get the 14 year old at Total Wine. This one I got at Flavier and it was $82. So a little more affordable. I thought this was way overpriced for the flavor points that I was getting. But then again, I'm looking for a little bit more sweetness in most of my whiskeys, even if they're not wine finished. Let me go ahead and pour these two so they can breathe. And then I can go head to head with the tasting on these two whiskeys. Now, what I like about both of these is they're Deanston. They're non-chill filtered. They're 46.3% ABV, which is really a beautiful level for most people. You get the non-chill filtering, you get the organic nature of the whiskey, and it is just Deanston. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> All right, now the, the problem I had with the 14 year was right off the bat on the nose, I couldn't get any sweet notes. And, I, and I'm in the same ballpark here with the 15 year. Now the 14 year, I've been trying over and over again. You can see how much of an effort I gave this bottle. I really have been trying to find something I like about it. In fact, last night before I opened up the 15 today, I decided let me go back and retaste the 14, give myself an honest third, fourth, fifth, 10th appraisal of it and see if I've changed my mind. And honestly, as I was drinking it last night, I was thinking, you know, I like a little bit of it, but I just don't enjoy the flavors that hang around. There's kind of this lingering note that I honestly can't place, but I get musty old leather. I mean, there's even a bit of <laughs> fertilizer note to me. And maybe that's because it's organic. Maybe that's the, the the cell on it, that it's supposed to be very organic. You're getting all the core products that you could get from uh, new oak and from that organic nature of everything that's taken care of at Deanston, their pure process for these. But I'm not sure why I would want them. Now, I'm nosing this one again. I enjoy the nose much better than the 15. I'm getting more sweetness here. I'm actually getting a little bit of a, a sugary sweetness. Yeah, I get the barley notes and I get that malted, but then there's a little hint of like a, maybe a cake frosting. I'm even getting a little bit of a peppermint there and a little bit of an orange note. So right off the bat, I'm more of a fan of the 15 just by the nose. That's good news for the 15 because I wouldn't buy the 14 again. So let's give it a taste. Definitely like that better than the 14. Nice long finish. I like the spices in it. There's a little bit of pepper on the finish. Yeah, I definitely like that better. There's a bit more sweetness. It's not sugary sweetness on the taste, but there's a bit of a, like a sweeter wine. If I were to take a, uh, a very mild white wine, I'm getting a little bit of that kind of sweetness. And I do like the spicy notes better. And I think the finish is longer. Maybe some of the nose that I'm getting on the 15 are cedar. Because that's that's like a cedar chest I just opened up. Where the 14 still smells off to me. And I still don't like the sour. Not sour. It's not sour on the 14. But I just don't like that note that I'm getting. And it's vegetal. And it's like a cooked vegetable that I don't eat often because I don't like it. You know, I grew up hating Brussels sprouts because my mother is, is Irish. Families will do boiled a lot of things and boiled those. And I never liked them. And this is kind of giving me that boiled flavor of a Brussels sprout. I love Brussels sprouts now because I found out that people actually cook them as roasted and, and bake them in an oven and they're delicious. But this one is very different. 
I am getting a bit of light fruit notes. I'm getting a, a sweetness of a pear or an apple. And I'm still getting some of that citrus on the nose. More of a tangerine than an orange, really. But it's there. Where on the 14, yeah, I can't get past the, uh, the musty leather notes. Very different beast. And you can see that the color difference is dramatic. So the 15, I don't know what the type of wood is. Maybe they did change the casks for the 15 versus the 14. But whatever they did on the 15, it's much more preferable. And the fact that I can get it for a cheaper price than the 14, I am much more impressed with this. I think it's a good thing that I had the 14 to compare against because my expectations were very low on this whiskey going in. I was concerned that I was going to have another Deanston that I was going to give it a thumbs down to, but I'm actually enjoying this whiskey. And I can see myself opening this bottle much more often than the 14. I certainly won't be struggling with it like I did the 14, which is a good thing because I think Deanston is a wonderful distillery and I think they deserve better than a thumbs down at any of their whiskeys. Sometimes I think experiments go wrong. If you're not having mistakes when you're experimenting, trying to make something better, you're probably not trying hard enough. And I'm okay with the 14 year not being a great organic whiskey. The 15 on the other hand, I would recommend it. If you can get a good price on it, like I said, I paid $82. I don't think that's horrible for a 15 year old whiskey. And I think it's flavorful enough. There's enough sweetness in there. There's some brown sugar. There's apple or pear, some very light fruit notes and a really nice peppery finish to it. Much longer and much more full than the 14, which feels a little flat to me. Yeah, I really enjoy this much more. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Do you like the Organic 15 Deanston? Have you tried it? Have you tried the 14? You've ever compared the two? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until the next video, take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and cheers.